a limit day. One, two, three, four, a limit day. <laughs> My name is Tracy and I'm a cruise coordinator. I am looking for a guy who's going to take care of me. A guy who's going to take me to nice restaurants and we can go on a boat ride and have some fun wine and cheese. Since I was a child, I always watched Cinderella, Snow White, and I always wanted to be the princess. So I guess I'm, you know, I'm looking for my Prince Charming. A limited. <laughs> So here at the Lakeshore Athletic Club, they have this rock climbing thing. It's seven stories tall, and it's going to be my tower. I'm going to be the princess Rapunzel at the top with my hair down, and the first guy to make it up to the top is going to be my Prince Charming. <gasps> hello. Well, hello there. How are you? How are you doing? What's your name? Ryan. Ryan? Yes. Tracy. Tracy, it's nice to finally hello. meet you. Oh, my hello. God. Hello. My name is Ryan Nero. I run a karaoke DJ business. It's a great time. It's like getting paid to go party every single night when we go out and do our gigs. There you are, look at you. I like to dabble in a lot of different things. Guitar, karaoke, my hot rod, and of course dating. And I seem to do well in all of them. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good, what's your name? I'm Sean. Sean? Yeah. Do you want oh, Tracy. Tracy. Hello. My name is Sean Lundin, and I'm a senior account manager for a financial publishing company. And after a long day at the office, I like to come in here and get a good workout in because I'm training for an amateur bodybuilding competition coming up this spring. I think dating is like a bodybuilding contest because like anything else, it's competitive. The way I feel about competing with three other guys is uh, it really doesn't bother me. In fact, I like the challenge. How you doing? Andrew, it's pleasure Tracy, to meet you. Nice What's going to meet on? You. My name is Andrew Wright. I buy wholesale beef and I love my job because everyone's got to eat meat. Here's a one bone lamb chop. I think if I was most like any piece of meat, it'd be a porterhouse. Here's a boneless New York strip. If I have a perfect girl, she would probably be a tenderloin, a chateau maybe. Center cut of a beef tenderloin, the best there is. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? How are you doing? Good. I'm Michael. Michael. How are you? Nice to meet you. I'm Michael Orlando. I work construction for a living. During the day, I'm dealing with dirty concrete. So at the end of my day, I like to pamper myself by getting manicures and sometimes my eyebrows waxed. When women see my eyebrows, they say, you get them waxed? And I say, yeah. Are you guys ready? Absolutely. Uh, when I first saw Tracy, I was pretty amazed. She's beautiful. She's got a great body. She's a hottie. The first time when I walked up the stairs, I was like, wow. How you doing, bud? I'm Ryan. Ryan. Michael, how are you? When I first saw Ryan, I thought he was one of my high school bullies. I was thinking maybe he stained his white wife beater with some marinara sauce. Michael, he looks just like Chachi from uh, Happy Days. Are you kidding me? So guys, here we are. Seven stories. Kind of exciting, huh? Absolutely. Are you guys excited? I was a little nervous. The wall was pretty intimidating at first. I had never done it before. Yeah, I'm not really fond of heights. Really? It looks pretty high You're up. scared of heights? When I was looking at that wall, when I stood on the ground, that thing is a monster. Come on over and find your shoe size. What size shoe is that? These? Yeah. These would be uh, 10. 10? What size shoe do you have? 10. 10? Great. Go. And how about you? 11. Ooh. And you? 12. Oh, OK. Very good. <laughs> you can almost see a little light bulb pop off in her head thinking, wait a minute, big hands, big feet. I can figure this one out. You know, I think that's more of a myth than anything anyway. You know, I could use a little help. OK, good. I could definitely use a little, little side. You guys look really cute. This one's broken, Todd. I think I need a kid one. You got a kid? No, no, we can. Who's rock climbed? I so am. we're going to expect you to. Well. Well, we'll expect that. I hope so. Since training. you're talking, you better first. Yeah. <laughs> like the pressure's on. I'm, that's it, I'm in. You're in? I'm in. I'm a monkey. Okay, I'm a monkey. That's it. All right, guys. I'll be meeting you at the top. Look for me. I'll be there first. Uh-oh, someone's flying. Andrew, he gets out there and he starts telling everybody that he's this mountain man, climber, rock guy. I know he was a storyteller. But I think he was rock climbing in like a uh, little park and the, the rocks were like little boulders. Uh-oh, what's going on now? They're going further down. <sighs> I'm coming, Trace! It was important to make it up that wall. You certainly uh, don't want to be a quitter. Why are you swinging? It's not a swing. I was looking for a guy who definitely had the strength and the capability to, you know, climb this. But at the same time, I wanted to find someone who's going to be fun. You kind of look like Tom Cruise in the Mission Impossible. You're almost there. Come on, you guys. I think we have a winner. Michael, you're the winner. I beat him. I'm quick, I'm like a monkey. As far as Chachi's concerned, he scampered up there. I don't think it really did much for him. 
proves he can climb, I guess, a little bit higher than us. You were really good. And you were having fun on the swing, weren't you? I was, Tracer. Andrew said that he was going to be number one, and he came in last. Yeah, Andrew gave a, a poor performance out there on the wall. I want to you know, help the other guys out a little bit. They need the extra help. And then we had to hear all about it, how tough that part of the wall was. What I actually wanted to do was take the chalk out of my bag and just start throwing it at him. So after the rock climbing event, I figured that we would go sit down, have a drink, and you know we would talk. So what do you guys do? I'm in construction. Are you construction? Yeah. So you build houses? I play in the dirt. No, I play in the dirt. This Chachi guy, he's not glam and shine, that's for sure. You seem like that kind of squirrely little guy from the south side that I'm used to. What did you say, Ethan? Uh, I work uh, as an account manager for a basically financial publishing company. You know what, you're yuppie. Big deal. I'm not impressed. What I buy you? and sell wholesale beef. What? I beef? buy and sell wholesale beef. Well, that's really exciting. I'm a vegetarian. That's unfortunate. She's a vegetarian. It's one minus against you. He went from meat boy to dead meat, just like that. I suffered no damage by her being vegetarian because opposites attract. Well, what do you do? I actually got a karaoke DJ business set. I run. What? I have to be totally honest with you. I knew there'd be one meatball in the mix, and Ryan went above and beyond the Call of Duty. Then when I turned 16, I bought a red Camaro. Wife beater and an IROC? I mean, come on, man. So what was like the nicest gift you got one of your girlfriends? Like, are you guys romantic at all, or? I took my girlfriend at the time to Paris for the weekend once, Ooh. or four days. That was pretty romantic. You could I would say so. She really perked up and listened and said, wait a minute, this guy doesn't joke around. How about you? Uh, just a, a little bed and breakfast up in Wisconsin, um, just to get away for the weekend and just kind of... Oh, how about you? We were talking a book when she left me early, so... What do you mean she left you early? She left me early. Did you screw with something up? Because no. why would she leave you early? She wasn't having fun, I guess. I think that definitely loses points. I never knew futility was something you brag about, but obviously he has nothing else to offer. Good job, guys. Oh, sure. Woo! Coming up, who is Tracy going to eliminate first? I think Michael's gonna get cut this round. I think Sean will get cut in this round because he didn't really bring much to the table as far as charisma. I think Chachi's gone. The person I believe is gonna be eliminated in this round have to be the beef man. Where's the beef? The first cut of eliminate is next. Who will be the first guy to be eliminated? Michael, Andrew, Sean, or Ryan? So boys, you all did a fantastic job. So the name of the game is Eliminate. So I have to eliminate someone. So Michael, oh. I have, even though you won, you're amazing, however, ah. You took that girl to Acapulco, your girlfriend, and she left you? That makes me nervous. I mean, would I want to leave you in Acapulco? Was yeah. she bored? Did you cheat on her? Maybe I'm just too good for her. She didn't want all the competition. I think that hurt him by maybe saying to Tracy, hey, I'm not so much fun. Go on vacation with me and you might not have a good time. I, I was there to tell the truth. I told the truth, but she acknowledged it the wrong way. In this next round, I am looking for a guy who's going to be really silly, funny, and someone who's just going to really make me laugh. Woo! We have lots of fun stuff going up here. I think my biggest competition in this next round uh, may be Andrew at this point. The sausage boy is going bald already, and I don't think that's going to work for him. So the first thing I did is I brought the guys down to the spa area where we had all the fun things to play with. I just want to see if you guys have, you know, the right touch and you can have fun. Start spreading <gasps> the you lotion. You can see, I like this Well, you know, one. it fits the moment. I want to be <laughs> the winner on Eliminate. I thought uh, Ryan being like Mr. Frank Sinatra was a little over the top, but then again, he is king of karaoke. I think Ryan is a goofball, and I do like that. Okay, do we use the gloves? The rubber glove thing with Sean just totally threw me way off. Like, what was he trying to do there? What was he saying? Ooh, yeah, I like that green stuff. Can you do the other fun out, too? I certainly too? can. This is like the best date I've ever been on. I definitely enjoyed laying there, having the three guys massage my feet and my neck and my hands. I mean, I think that would be every girl's dream. Have you ever had a girl give you, like, a makeover before? No. You look really cute. Let me give you a mole. Yeah, Harlequin kind of? Let's give you... Oh. I think the person who let me have the most fun with them was Sean. Mm. How about some lipstick? Oh, my God. <laughs> just a little bit? Okay, just a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I think she put on Sean's lip because she didn't want to hear him anymore. Why don't you go have some fun, and I'll go get some more. <laughs> when Ryan started putting the, uh, the stuff on my face, yeah, I wasn't, uh, wasn't too happy about that. This is working out well. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh my god. It feels, it feels good. You look fantastic. It did get me a little nervous. I mean, painting each other's faces, that was a little strange. Do you cook? Yes. What do you like to cook? I like barbecuing. Mm. Um, so when I barbecue, what, like steaks and like stuff? not so much steaks. I like to do a kebab type thing with like chicken, beef and chicken combination, marinade with a little teriyaki, a little soy. I thought it was interesting that Ryan somehow seemed to separate the soy sauce from the teriyaki sauce, seeing as how it's kind of the same thing. How about you? I do cook. You do? Yeah. I don't. I, <laughs> do you like a lady? To, like do you like a lady to cook it. for you? But do I like a lady? Yes. But you know what? I like to help out. If you, you cook, I clean. I think that definitely won me points. If I cook. I still claim. Treat you like a princess. I'm calling bullshit. When Ryan made the comment about my sentiment being uh, BS, I was a little bit pissed. And I just had to kind of do a little <laughs> just to kind of shut him up. So we cleaned up our faces and then we headed to the hot tub where they took off their tops. And, you know, I was looking to see if they were, they were in shape. So I was pretty impressed with that. I want you guys to ask each other questions for things that you think that I should know. John, why don't you tell Tracy how many girls you slept with? Well. Alrighty then. No, I, I've slept with about a handful of, of girls. What's a handful? Uh, maybe like uh, seven. She might not be interested in him if he's slept with like 50, 60 women or something. What about you? I'm just now I'm That's pretty scary. good for a guy. <laughs> Out of respect and privacy, the girls I've dated. Open it up to the hot tub. That's all right. I, I really, I, mean, I have too much respect to disclose that information. Yeah, I think he didn't admit any numbers because he's got no numbers. When those guys were so open about saying how many gals they've been with, I felt to be very disrespectful. He probably hasn't had sex with anyone. The guy's got more hair on his chest than he does on his head. Despite what you may think, my, I don't have high numbers. Let's put it this way, I'm, I'm, under, I'm under five. I think we're all a little bit leery of his answer because, once again, that's the kind of guy who goes out looking for broads, you know? Do you, uh, every morning, get up, get a shower, go to work, whatever? Is the whole thing done at once, shaving-wise, like face and chest, or is that just kind of piecemeal? Like, yeah, actually, how that works is, when you get out of the shower, I gotta shave, because, you know, the skin's soft. The chest, you know, it's a, like, as needed, I think, as a regular maintenance. You know, I just think it's odd that a guy would shave his chest. I take pride in the way I look, and I think that that, that, look good, that looks good to me. I'm not that vain, really. I know where, uh, where Ryan's coming from. I was very happy mine had grown back. Coming up, who will Tracy eliminate next? If I had to pick someone who was going to get the axe, I would have to say it's going to be Sean. In this round, Sean really showed that basically all he had, he used up in the first round, and. He's as dull as I, uh, as, I, as I thought. I don't think Ryan did so well in this round. It's time for Tracy to decide which of these guys to eliminate. Next. Eliminate. <laughs> Who's Tracy going to eliminate next? Andrew, Ryan, or Sean? So guys, this is the hardest part of the show. I have to be the bad girl, and I have to eliminate one of you. So, Andrew, you're a smart guy. Thank you. But you're not smart enough for this girl. Oh. Yeah. You didn't know how to call the shots, and I had to pull, pull it out of you to, you know, what to do. So. Okay. But give me a hug. I don't know what she was thinking about cutting me. Obviously, she has poor judgment, I think. I eliminated Andrew because he's not a man's man. I felt like I had to pull everything out of him, and we wouldn't have any fun together. I'd be very bored. Maybe she's just stupid. I was surprised that Andrew was cut. It looks like it's back to the beef packing for you. Tracy, if you want to go with a big meatball, it's your decision. But you'll be stuck with someone like that the rest of your life. The final round is all about closing the deal. Look at it like a salesman. I think I'm going to win because uh, I might not be as flashy as Ryan, but I've got what it takes. I think I've got the right stuff. The next round, I'm taking them to a club and I'm gonna see how they dress because I like a guy who has a nice style. Wow. They both really look dynamite. She walked in those doors, it was amazing. Her red outfit with wow. the sparkles, it looked really hot. She was stunning. Uh, she was absolutely beautiful. Are you guys ready to have some fun? Yeah, we're ready. To the three of us. I'll meet you down. Okay. Woo! Woo! <laughs> so I got the club all to ourselves. So it was just the three of us in the club and we were able to really let loose. I wanted to see what they were really gonna be like. 
you know, with no one around, no one watching, just the three of us. When we were on the dance floor, you know what, I only saw one person, that was Tracy. We went out there, the smoke, the lights, everything was banging. It's the first time I've been in a, a club situation where you know, there's only three on the dance floor. Yeah, it was a little bit nerve wracking. I would say Ryan kind of won the dancing thing because he just grabbed my arm and we were spinning and doing a little salsa here and there. and So he definitely took control and I like that. I thought Sean was kind of, he was a so-so dancer. I thought I was uh, losing the battle. I was losing the girl. I was just hoping that there was some way that I was going to be able to, you know, hopefully come back and, and uh, win Tracy. As you know, I'm a romantic. And I'm looking for a romantic guy, so I'm going to have you two write me oh, a love God. poem. You go over there, Sean. Okay. Right next door, here's your pen. There's your All paper. All right. Tracy asked me to, to write this poem. When we were sitting down there, um, it was very spur of the moment. Uh, Tracy, I don't think I've had more fun than today. Oh. Looking into your big, beautiful brown eyes, really? I see a woman that is fun, yeah. down to earth, and exciting. Whatever the next few minutes together will bring, I will cherish our day forever. Love, Sean. You wrote that now? Mm -hmm. That is... Oh. Thank you. Thanks. Sean's poem was crap. It didn't rhyme. It, it, was, it wasn't truth. It, he can't have all them feelings. Your eyes are as brown as chocolate candy. If we get together, it could be so dandy. Okay. So much fun we could have just doing the town. Together we'll party and you'll never frown. I thought Ryan's poem lacked the sincerity that, uh, that my poem had. Let's be honest here. I'm honest. This is honest right here. This little piece of paper is. It sounded a little more like a kid's rhyme than actually, you know, trying to put something together to, to actually say, Tracy, this is how I feel about you. I think when we came into this room, uh, the door was still open. And I think the, uh, the poem definitely sealed the deal. Will it be Sean or Ryan? Tracy's decision is up next. This is honestly such a difficult decision for me to make because both guys, they did possess qualities that would be my Prince Charming. I'm totally gonna win this. I'm very confident, you know, because I'm relaxed. I'm myself. I'm not trying to be somebody else that I'm not. I'm going to win this game because I think I have the looks, the fact that I show her respect. It's a total package. Which way will Tracy turn at the final cut? A limited. <laughs> so you guys, this honestly was the hardest decision to make. I literally flipped back and forth 50 times trying to figure out which one was going to be my Prince Charming. <laughs> I mean, I wish the roles could change and, you know, the two of you, I could just take you both home with me because that's how hard it was. But I'm going to have to pick... Sean is my Prince Charming because you are so genuine, sincere, and kind. And when you did that love letter thing, honestly, it was beautiful. She definitely made the wrong decision. I felt I might have lost you a little bit on the dance floor. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I was hoping that uh, my poem would redeem myself. Yeah, it sure did. Ridiculous poetry that doesn't go and crap lines that don't rhyme. What clinched it for me was when you said that uh, we would cook and clean together. But I don't really know how she's gonna get close to him to give him a kiss with the size of the schnoz on the guy. 